Brad Labs. Don't try this at home. Here in front of me, I have two extremely flammable elements that are combined into a single substance. Okay, the substance is water. But water, when heated to a high enough temperature, can be split into its parts of hydrogen and oxygen. And as those parts are split, the hydrogen and oxygen take on their gas form, and those gases expand. And as they expand, the heat source that I use to separate them lights them on fire. And we end up with this amazing effect of burning them separately. Yeah. Okay. So research is a pretty important part of the scientific process. Let's find out what temperature does water split into hydrogen and oxygen. Okay, let's see. Boom, dissociation. Water dissociates at about 2200 degrees Celsius. And if I scroll down, I can see at least a few other websites agree. And if I look just a little bit closer, I can find out that only about 3% of water molecules that reach that temperature dissociate into hydrogen and oxygen. But if I can get that water to 3000 degrees Celsius, then more than half of the water molecules are going to dissociate into hydrogen and oxygen. Let's shoot for that. What we need is some magnesium. Magnesium is highly flammable especially when powdered or shaved into thin strips and it burns at 3100 degrees celsius that sounds perfect <laughs> 